David sent in a question that said, what is the easiest and safest way to flash the BIOS? And the answer is not to do it like I do it. And I'll tell you a story of flashing a BIOS and how not to do it and why I do some of the things. Flashing the BIOS, obviously, is when you have the basic input-output system of your computer. It is the, the piece of programming that starts up your computer, that checks everything that's in there, does a power on self-test or a post, make sure that your hard drive is there, make sure the video can display information. It's where we go to turn on and off different aspects of the hardware of our computer. So occasionally, you may want to upgrade that BIOS. There may be a bug fix to the BIOS. There may be new capabilities added to the BIOS. Maybe it now allows you to have different types of memory in your computer with the BIOS upgrade. Maybe the software you're using is expecting a certain version of the BIOS. So there's a lot of good reasons why you might want to upgrade the BIOS that's in your computer. Now, here's the problem. If you are upgrading the BIOS and the BIOS starts your computer, if you mess this up, your computer's not going to start. So there is the most important thing you should remember. You know, we're doing upgrades to our media players, our video player on our computer. We're upgrading our word processing document. We're even upgrading our operating systems all the time. We don't even think about it. Because if something happens in the middle, we just do it again. You don't get a second choice with your BIOS. If you mess up the BIOS configuration and right in the middle of writing it, oh, something goes wrong, you lose power. You've just now created a problem for yourself. It becomes very difficult to recover from that. So I was uh, literally across the country. I'm based out of Florida. I was in California at a remote site. It was a router that I had to, to upgrade the BIOS inside of the router, upgrade the firmware of the router. And we started the upgrade process. I had the router manufacturer's representative in the room with me along with my boss and the people that were in charge of this equipment locally at that facility. And the representative from the router company began the upgrade process. But I was looking at that router and I thought, in the OCD way that I sometimes have, the router is kind of crooked on the rack up there. It's just kind of sitting on a, on a shelf. Let me just move that a little bit so it's straight. Oh, that's now, there we go. The router is now straight. In the process of moving it, the power cord popped out of the back and every light on the router went off. And I'm standing there on a little stool, adjusting it, watching the lights go off, and wondering how bad this is going to be. It was very bad. There's no way to recover. This process we thought we'd be done with in an hour, and we'd be on our way doing something else. Now we have to wait and call and somebody send in next day. Actually, I think we did it same day, then one of those like Delta Dash where you you tell Delta, here's a box, please ship it. And they fly it across the country as if it was a passenger. And on the other side, somebody can show up and take the take the the ownership of the package. We had to do something like that. Very embarrassing. And the same thing can happen on your computer. You can be in the middle of a BIOS upgrade and the machine's powers off, and that's a problem. If you ever do a BIOS upgrade on a laptop, it checks. The BIOS upgrade program checks and it will tell you, hey buddy. You're running on battery. Are you crazy? We're not going to do a BIOS upgrade if you're running on battery. You have to plug in your laptop to do a BIOS upgrade. And I'm not going to do this until you plug in some power and I see it there. So I'll just sit here and wait. And you've got to find your power cord and plug it in before you can do a BIOS upgrade. Same thing for your desktop computer. Don't do a BIOS upgrade during a thunderstorm. Ideally, your desktop computer is plugged into a UPS. The uninterruptible power supplies are so inexpensive these days. And for your desktop computer, such an important piece of machinery inside of your house, inside of your office, plug it into a UPS. Plug it into the best possible situation. Some motherboards have two BIOS running on them. So you can upgrade the BIOS on one. And if it becomes a problem, you just tell the motherboard, yeah, start from the other one. Genius. I needed that particular configuration on my router, and I wouldn't have run into that situation of bricking my router just because I messed up the BIOS upgrade process.